case from the detectives uh, on a very special piece of land today. Uh, can't give location out, unfortunately, uh, but this is the only proper view I can give you. Uh, we're in a prime Roman area, so hopefully find some Roman today. So on that note, guys, I'll catch you on the first one. Hi, guys. First target is a nice big buckle. Uh, we are definitely in a nice place. But yep, first target, a buckle. Right, catch you on next. Hi, guys. I've dug this target and it's, uh, I think it might be a coin ball. And um, we definitely got a coin. Got a coin, Dave. Unfortunately, it's absolutely battered, but still a coin. 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 Yeah. Uh, William the Third. More probably, it's completely battered. Loaded. Yeah. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one. All right, guys. Just dug this target. Uh, just to, to turn around to today. I just found uh, some bits of lead and that. So I knew that was people to say today that people are definitely working in this area. And yeah, guess what guys? I found the symbol. That is absolutely awesome. Absolutely brilliant. A cracking little symbol. Cool. Right, catch on next. Well guys, we just had a little quick hunt in the river down there. And this is some of the stuff we picked up. Uh, big piece of pottery. Nice bits, isn't it? That probably a big, big urn or pot of some kind. Uh, like I said, absolutely loads and loads of pottery. That's a cool piece. And that's a cool piece, 1862. And some quartz. And a pair of quartz. Uh, Dave's there. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Like I said, loads and loads of pottery in the river. Shame we didn't bring our wellies, isn't it? It is. <laughs> right guys, on that one, I'll catch you in a bit. Right guys, just had this target and I found this. Now, I'm not sure, could it be a compass? Or could it be a watch? Part of a watch hanging on a chain? I just do not know. If he knows, you know what to do. Leave a comment below. Right, catch you on next. Right guys, just took the target. Uh, it's iron bar it was under this rock here and um, me and Dave reckon we're actually on the Roman road so what we're going to do we're going to leave the rock there we're not going to disturb it or nothing split the uh, clog bat over and have a little search around with the shovels and hopefully we'll find some more of this Roman road there's a banging target here so Dave's got a 20. target we get, there we get a live dig go on then this is a uh, 2021 on the Equinox. Sounds very, very uh, coiny, nice and loud. Yeah, sorry. Whatever it is, is here, mate. Right on top of it. See, look, you've just said about. Yeah. What is that? That's why you should wear gloves. That was lucky, wasn't yeah. it? I'm presuming, Jim, it's probably going to be the lid. Because that looks like it's a bottle. But we will check. Still down that. Right on top of it. Very, very rocky. Yeah, it's right next to the road as well. Still in. It's going to be a big one. After all that, mate, unfortunately, it's a fragment of scrap. <laughs> oh well. Right, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. Right, guys, just dug this target here, and you can see it's still in the clump. So, let's hope it's not just rubbish. It's a piece of chain. <laughs> oh, look at it. Yeah. piece of the chain. Oh, catch on next. 
I got it. Got another target here. Dug it out. There we go. I think that might be a doorknob. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think it is. Another doorknob. Probably. Don't know. More than likely it is. Alright, catch on next. Alright boys and girls, me and Dave just dug this hole because we couldn't find it at first. And there it is in the crop, so we open it together. Oops, there it goes. And that's going to be a coin. Uh, what do you reckon? It's really thin one, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's about the size of... I think it's a really badly corroded yeah. half penny, if yeah. you ask me, going off the size. Yep. Yeah. Right. Still, coin's a coin. Exactly. Catch you on the next one. Now you're on three cameras. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, well, we've finally done it. We came out here in search of some coins and relics. And there she is. I've just come across this silver. Looking like a uh, love token. There you go, Jim. For yours. Awesome, mate. Not a bad little coin that. I don't know what that would have been mate, but still absolutely made up with that. Can't beat a bit of silver. Right guys, got no target. Uh, it's in here. So we'll pour it together. And by the looks of it that's going to be another coin. Yep. Probably an half penny or something. But well, there's nothing on it. Well, cool. Catch on next. Alright, guys, a buckle. Alright, catch on next. Alright, guys, do this one about three foot away from the last hole, and we have another buckle. Alright, catch on next. Right, guys, the target. Um, I think it might be a coin. The ground's very rich. As you can see. Dave's on his way over to have a look. Very rich, the ground's so rich. Probably a George. Yeah. Yep, probably the George. Yep. Right, catch on there. Hi guys, the bliss. Uh, I think it might be a wheel of a toy car or something. Looks that way. Right, catch on next. Hi guys, just dug this target and it's in here somewhere. There we go. Well, that's another coin. Just lost it. There you go, there you are. There you go, a coin. Right, catch on. Hi guys, that's it, the fun's over. We had a cracking day. Some lovely coins, some cracking artifacts. As usual, I will leave the link for Dave the Detective in the description below. If you not watch these videos, give it over to his channel and subscribe. On that one, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.